we're going to talk about 14 of the best 3ds max plugins and scripts for modeling that you can use to save time and take your modeling to the next level we're going to start the countdown with number 14 max r stones this tool is used to quickly generate rocks within 3ds max using it you can generate high poly rocks with one click button and it has the ability to randomly change the rock shapes as many times as you want you have two presets available eroded and boulder also you can generate low poly rocks from high poly rocks using max r stone in addition to that it can make a normal map texture from a high poly to a low poly rock number 13 welder Welder is a 3ds max plugin designed to make the creation of welds quickly and easy if you are modeling industrial or metallic stuff like pipes machinery or anything else that needs two pieces of metal to be welded then welder is going to speed up the process because you don't have to attach the geometry of two intersecting meshes not only that but it is going to be more realistic you can place the weld wherever you want even when there aren't two pieces cutting each other off just place it in the place you want and you will be ready to go number 12 max landscape using max landscape you can procedurally create terrains inside 3ds max it helps with sculpting terrains in a few minutes just by clicking a few buttons you can choose from a range of maps presets and also it gives you the possibility to quickly add your own maps into the library folder once you click the sculpt button it adds a helper and a displace modifier on top of your terrain then to affect the displacement behavior you simply need to translate rotate or scale this helper a gradient ramp texture is also included on each helper and it will limit the area of coverage for the map you can stack multiple helpers together in order to produce interesting patterns number 11 building mass creator building mass creator is a tool for 3ds max providing a quick and easy way to generate simplistic mass buildings import buildings layouts from cad draw your own outlines or just use the default rectangle tool building mass creator pops your buildings up to their desired heights you will be able to turn around heights variations fast also making changes to heights are no problem with this easy tool number 10 cable spline cable spline is a shape plugin for 3ds max which gives users the ability to create suspended cables along cylindrical shapes and paths you can adjust the width to extend the cable across the geometry and it also has turns which controls the number of loops across the cylinder in order to show the effect of gravity you need to adjust the draping length to create something realistic for the situation you have and of course you can play around with other parameters to get the results you need number nine is simple pipe simple pipe is a spline plugin for 3ds max it gives users the ability to create pipe like paths with a variety of options you can distribute custom geometry along the path at each pipe intersection there are a lot of controls available to users like height width depth chamfer radius connector joint geometry thickness angles and the number of pipes if you need to create a scene with a lot of pipes in 3ds max then this plugin can save you a lot of time also it is flexible enough to allow you to get the result you need without needing to adjust your pipes manually number eight rock generator this is a script for 3ds max that allows you to create rocks in a very short period of time you can change advanced parameters or you can simply click random seed then click generate detailed rock and it will give totally different results this script generates procedural random shaped rocks both low poly and high poly you can easily bake a normal map from high poly to low poly because low poly mesh matches too close to the high poly which is needed for baking in addition to that the low poly mesh is automatically relaxed uvw mapped with non-overlapping uvs if you want to create the same rock more than once you can use the same seed number to generate the rock also you can use live parameters to quickly adjust the shape and details you can create asteroid like rock shapes you can use manual edit tool to manipulate the rock shapes and finally you can use intensity slider to navigate values for interesting effects number seven labyrinth labyrinth is a spline plugin for 3ds max which allows users to create splines on any given object in a 3ds max the knots which make up the labyrinth are automatically attached to the objects they are generated on this feature gives users the ability to easily produce stunning effects and there are a lot of controls for the tool as well as various ways to use the tool in production 
even though it seems like this tool can't be practical or necessary in a production pipeline. But of course, it has some practical uses if you need one. Number six, Physics Painter. Physics Painter is made to quickly populate your scenes with your assets in a very natural way. It allows you to create them using a brush and automatically place them with rigid bodies simulation. This tool can be useful for different types of scenes, for architecture, for game cinematics, commercials, and so on. Because very often we need to add details to scenes with some assets. Placing them by hand is tedious and takes a lot of time to get the natural look you want. You can also probably do that with some Mass Effects simulations, but it takes also a lot of time to get the results you want. Using Physics Painter, you will drastically improve your workflow and it will help you to make some believable scenes in less time because it was made with this purpose in mind. You can use any asset you want or use your own library or buy them somewhere else. Paint and delete multiple assets and paint one by one if needed. Also, this plugin has physics simulations. In addition to that, you can paint and re-simulate locally and prevent collisions even if you don't use the simulations. You can even use a specific gravity like a directional one or a spherical one, which increases your freedom and gives you a lot more room and possibilities for asset distribution in your scene. Number five, low poly city builder. It is a low poly city modeler ready to render in 3ds max. This is a plugin that contains tons of good polished low poly building assets to make your life easier and speed up the development of your low poly city projects. It works on a system grid that gives you the flexibility to place any objects on the grid and make them seem placed correctly. Low Poly City Builder comes with a terrain builder which will allow you to create the terrain for your city with the proper size of maps and auto applying materials, even auto heights. This plugin is a very simple one because there are no modeling skills or advanced knowledge of 3ds Max required to use the Low Poly City Builder. It is completely procedural and easy to use. Number 4 Kit Basher. This plugin for 3ds Max gives users the power to quickly integrate existing 3D models into meshes. The users are provided with a lot of variety of options and settings to fine tune the look and feel of their model with real time updating. You can distribute 3D models per cluster or per face. How this plugin works is interesting because the mesh will auto scale to fit within the selected faces even when you select multiple faces. Also the same thing can be done in curved surfaces. Kit Basher respects modifiers like Turbo Smooth in the stack and it also respects smoothing groups, UVs, material IDs and it will blend with them. Number 3 Poly Detail Ornaments are one of the most time consuming things to create in 3ds Max and in 3D modeling in general. And with Poly Detail you can create a large variety of ornaments in a few minutes. The geometry is created in polygonal format so you can easily adjust it with standard modeling tools. This plugin can save you a lot of time if you create complicated shapes like ornaments using 3ds Max tools or even if you use a sculpting software it is going to take you longer than using this plugin because it is easy and really fast. With 12 default ornament brushes you can easily create cool looking ornaments or if you want you can add your own custom brushes for a large variety. Rotation and twist settings help you achieve interesting details with minimal effort. Poly detail also works with curved surfaces which is a nice thing they added because it follows the surface angle. This plugin is doing a nice favor for 3ds Max users because it is such a pain to create ornaments for so long it is so hard. Uh, at first creating ornaments manually might be a nice thing to do but over the long run it becomes frustrating and tedious and this is where poly detail comes to your aid. Number 2 Smooth Boolean This plugin is a real 3ds Max modeling game changer. Smooth Boolean is a spectacular 3ds Max plugin for creating smooth transitions between pro boolean meshes. You don't need to spend hours on cleaning messy topology created with boolean cuts anymore. Me personally I don't use 3ds Max boolean because it is too much work and it doesn't give good results in my opinion. If you just want your 3D models to look great on the rendering or you need to bake something for games then you don't have to waste your time trying to model fancy sub-D meshes. Smooth boolean is a lifesaver for those who create a lot of 3D models which means basically everyone who works at 3D modeling related jobs. The amount of time modeling will take you using this plugin 
will probably be a lot shorter. Me personally, when I saw the demo for this plugin, I immediately realized that I was spending too much time modeling because this tool makes things so easy. Smooth Boolean was tested by a few data testers for months and as any fresh software it may cause unexpected errors. I think people are facing some problems using it sometimes but with more updates it will be free of errors. This plugin is a little bit expensive, it is $99 but I think it is a good investment if you consider the time it will save for you to do other stuff to make even more money. What you can do with this plugin is like a dream coming true for 3ds Max users since Autodesk does not really update their software, at least not as much. With Smooth Boolean, your objects can intersect with each other without any issues. It is able to handle triple edge intersections and build smooth quads capped meshes at those points. The results look exactly like modern quad chamfering techniques. Instead of thinking how to guide the edge loop to achieve the shape, you need aftermath subdivision. With smooth boolean plugin, there are no things hard to model as far as I can see because this plugin, I think even a beginner can create amazing 3D models with it. Number 1. Mesh Insert Mesh Insert is an awesome 3ds Max plugin inspired from Polystein from Moto. It speeds up the modeling process by replacing face selections using an asset from your library. It is great for hard mesh and organic modeling too. Position, rotation and scale spinners value remain. Each new imported asset will take these values of course in account. When enabled, the asset is scaled or stretched to fit the selection, size or borders. And you will then be able to adjust and reset the transforms values much easier. You can type in the transform spinners the value updates when you press enter, a new scale fit options. Also when you add an asset it will keep the same size as the previously inserted one. I hope you will find this list of 3ds Max modeling plugins useful. If you have a plugin in mind that we didn't mention you can leave it in the comment section below. Also you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.